Hey guys, Steven here with ProTech. Today we're going to talk about a custom knife sheath that uh, I made probably going on two to three years ago for the K-Bar TDI and similar shaped uh, defensive uh, arterial knives. And when I say arterial, I mean it's got a short blade on it and it's designed to be very ergonomic for your hand to hold and the blade points a little bit forward giving you that ability to punch in specific areas of the body uh, where major arteries exist. Uh, it'll also go go through ribs and, and what have you with enough force. Um, it's just a, it's a great um, uh, lethal get off me uh, arms reach or less tool. Um, hope, hope you never have to use it. Hope I never have to use mine, uh, but we do train with them and uh, I carry mine every day. And I've tested this one a lot longer than I normally test stuff. Normally it's about six months uh, before we release it. This one's been about three years. Um, uh, and uh, that's a mixture between just hesitancy to release it and just being too busy. So here it is. Here's how I carry it. I carry it on my, on my left side because I carry a gun on my, on my right side. So I've got access to a tool. If I have time to, to grab a tool, I've got access on either hip. Uh, to, to a tool. <clears throat> and if you notice, it's kind of rotated forward so that it doesn't print on me, uh, you know, whether I'm standing, sitting, what have you. And then to draw it, I simply reach in, draw, and I've got the knife. So that's what it looks like. That's the K-Bar TDI. It's a uh, about a two inch blade, plenty long enough to hit uh, major arteries. And then to reholster it or resheath re it, this sheath actually will rotate. It's a single clip design, so I'll rotate it up a little, and then I'll guide it into the sheath carefully. And then and you can see I can rotate it up, but then the handle sticks a little bit further out, and it'll print a lot more. So I go ahead and rotate it down in there. And it's amazing, because of the curvature, it's a bit difficult to, to achieve good comfort when it's straight up and down because it can, it can dig into a hip. If you rotate it a little bit forward like, like our sheath allows, uh, it just goes away. It disappears on your side, comfort-wise. And I wear it all day, every day. And I lay on it underneath vehicles and in training and what have you. It's just a great, great tool. And, and when I rotate it forward, it, it disappears. So when I bend, you can't, you can't see that I've got something there. Um, so that is the sheath. I'm going to go ahead and pull it off and show it to you. Just disengage that clip and pull it off. There it is. And you can see I've put a lot of wear and tear on it. And the K-Bar, it's, it, it's thick. It's thick in the handle portion and thin in the, in the blade portion. And the, the stock sheath that comes with it, if you wear just that, it's, it's not very comfortable. Whereas if you look at the leather, I went in and blended that so that's a much less gradual change there. Now I'm going to show you one that I just made, another custom one that I made for a different customer. It's got a few added features. Um, <clears throat> this one is set up for a cross draw application. Uh, one of our customers is a bit bigger guy and he carries a cross draw, a very small pistol. And then when he can't carry that small pistol, he wants to have this to carry. So it's going to ride kind of up front on him and he's got, he's got a bit of a gut on him. And you know, if you've watched our cross draw video, that the cross draw requires a bit of a gut because your pistol grip is now facing forward as opposed to it facing rearward like if you were carrying on your, on your, your gun hand side. So you reach across your body and draw it. And also you'll notice this one has full coverage on the knife side. And we've got one continuous edge and we went ahead and blended blended those edges all the way around and it will do the same thing it is rotatable inside of the pants <clears throat> and it also has adjustable retention and you can see it's it's overbuilt lots of eyelets and rivets um, attaching the the kydex 100 that's the strongest grade of kydex available on the market attaching the two halves of kydex 100 together and again we've got adjustable retention at the top so we can tighten or loosen that with a screwdriver to, to, so he can get it right to his liking. And then to draw it, he's got full access to the grip. He can grab it and pull. There it is. 
and I've got the retention adjusted such that it won't come out of there. Obviously, it'll be carried like this. It'll have some belt pressure on it too, so he might adjust that to his liking. But there it is. I'll go ahead and put it on for you. Again, I'm a little guy, so it's probably going to print on me some, but that's okay. <clears throat> this is not my preferred method of carry, but different strokes for different folks. That's why we're a custom shop. So. If I had a belly, I'll try to push it out for you. I can't, I don't really have much of a belly. But there it is, and he'll simply reach up, draw the knife. So in areas where he can't carry his gun, he'll have at least this little guy with him. And this is a custom knife, the, there's no name on it. Uh, there's that emblem. If any of you know what that emblem is, uh, please indicate that in the comments as to who makes this knife. It's a, uh, it's pretty much a, a, a knockoff of the K-Bar TDI. It's got a straight edge on it. You can get the TDI with a straight edge as well. Um, it's a little thinner up here in the, in the uh, finger groove than the TDI is. But it looks like a decent knife. I'm going to sharpen it a little bit for him too before we ship it back. The tip's been damaged a little bit. But then to uh, resheathe it, same thing, carefully. Put it back in there. And there it is. And then you can lean against it and bend over and what have you, and that leather disperses the pressure and makes it for a very comfortable ride. So there we go, guys. This will be going up on the website post-haste, and uh, they'll probably run about the same amount as uh, our little buddy holster because uh, it takes me the same amount of time. And uh, I'll be making it specifically for the K-Bar TDI. Um, and uh, if you don't have that, and I don't have that knife, uh, we'll just require that you mail the knife to us. Uh, we'll make the sheath and then mail it back to you like this customer did. Because I'm not going to buy all these different knives. Just mail me your knife and I'll make it for you. Anyways, stay safe guys and we'll see you next time.